What we have to do with this problem is determine what the coordinates of triangle ABC will be if we reflect it across the y-axis. And the y-axis is located right here. So what we have to do is flip or reflect each one of these points across this line. Whenever reflecting anything over the y-axis, what you do is you take the original points and you make sure that the x values will become opposite and you make sure that the y values will remain exactly the same. So let's start by recording the location of all of the original points. Point A is currently located at negative 1, positive 4. Point B is currently located at positive 4, negative 4. And point C is currently located at negative 1, negative 6. Now what we are going to do is take each x value and make it opposite and make sure that the y value stays the same. And the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. And we want to keep this y value the same, so that is going to stay a 4. For point B, the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4. And the second value, or the y value, will remain the same. For point C, the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. And we're going to keep negative 6 exactly as it is. Now let's plot these three points and see what our reflection looks like. So the new location of A is going to be at positive 1, positive 4 which is located right here. And the new location of B is negative 4, negative 4. So we're going to go over to negative 4 on the x-axis and then go 4 below. And this is the new location of B. And for point C, we have to go to positive 1, negative 6, which is located right here. Now what we're going to do is connect our points to see what our reflection looks like. So there's line segment AC, line segment BC, and line segment AB. So these coordinates right here represent the reflection of triangle ABC. And notice that all of the X values became opposite and all of the Y values stayed the same. And that will always happen when doing a reflection across the y-axis.